Tiny Winthrop Press Cigarette Premium Books. Hi, I'm Gary Lavisi, and we're going to look at uh, some American books that uh, from the Winthrop Press from 1914. Um, Winthrop Press was a, a publishing company located in New York City, and they published uh, the best short stories series of uh, about 102 books. I don't know a lot about these books. Uh, Santa dropped them on me uh, for Christmas, and uh, it was a wonderful kind of uh, experience to look through them and to, and to, to, to uh, discover a little bit about them. And I'm still in the discovery stage of learning about them. At some point, there may be an article in Paperback Parade on them when we learn some more details. But I thought you'd like to see this since I, the previous video went uh, into some, looked at uh, some British children's books um, that were small little books, tiny books. These uh, Winthrop Press are uh, like about two and three quarter inches by two inches in size, pretty small, and, uh, but, but quite nice quite nicely designed and quite nicely printed. Um, the uh, previous video dealt with children's books. These were not children's books. These were for adults. They were uh, actually um, uh, printed uh, as, as premiums to be uh, given away in packages of cigarettes. Uh, American Tobacco Company was involved with, uh, with uh, Winthrop Press and they publish these books for them. They would be, uh, uh, one story would be accompanying each package of cigarettes that people would purchase. This is in 1914. Uh, Straits, uh, Egypt, Egyptian Straits, cigarettes, Piccadilly cigarettes, Sovereign cigarettes, Omar cigarettes. Uh, in those days, these cigarettes had uh, exotic sounding names, British sounding names, and you'd buy a pack and in the pack would be uh, would be one of these uh, one of these little booklets and uh, they're pretty cool and uh, they would advertise on the back the cigarettes that you're purchasing that, that these were uh, in, in the pack so there's at least about a, it's a about 102 of these as far as I've heard uh, there may be more and uh, there's an Edgar Allan Poe there's some nice ones they're uh, quite, quite nice. The first one we're going to look at is The Three Musketeers by Rudyard Kipling. And that's it right there. Uh, nice artwork. These are all from 1914. Some of the books um, contain stories, reprint stories from the uh, Frank A. Muncie pulps uh, from 1911-1912. This is from... Uh, obviously from the uh, we print, uh, the, the British Kipling story. And uh, they have a nice color illustration on the inside. And the story continues. And then at the end, the story ends, you have an extra nice piece of uh, quality paper where the ads appear. Talks a little bit about the series here and some of the authors in the series. And it says, uh, the world's best short stories now present, uh, presented with straights, uh, Piccadilly and Sovereign uh, cigarettes and cigars. And uh, one story accompanies each uh, cigarette package, 100 uh, titles ready, and uh, more will be on the way. And uh, the back cover, just has this uh, this logo design, so that's there's no numbers on them. That's the uh, the Three Musketeers. Um, Buddy finds Bohemia by Fred Boltwood. You're going to notice the artwork is really nice. It's uh, it's from the 1914 era. Uh, it may have been, although I'm not sure, but it may have been. Uh, some of these covers from uh, reused from the uh, Muncie pulps. Buddy finds Bohemia. Nice, uh, nice illustration there. 
these are 32 pa 32 pages and they're uh, and they're about two inches by two inches in size kind of small and these uh, these list for uh, Omar cigarettes now Omar cigarettes and all these all those companies were these are American books and uh, published in New York uh, for the American uh, for um, for Winthrop Publishing, but they were used with uh, with the um, American Tobacco Company. They published a lot of uh, different cigarettes. Um, the next book is with Doc Cook at the North Pole, and that's by uh, W. J. H. Norse. And that's with Doc Cook at the North Pole. Here's the inside, the title page, the uh, inside illustration, color, it's on nice paper. The regular pages are kind of pulpy, but it's still good paper. Uh, but the last two, uh, two pages are uh, where they have the ads are nice, nicer quality paper in the back cover. And this book we're going to look at a little bit uh, in depth later, later on in a minute. Uh, on Great Waters by Eleanor Ferris is another in the series. Nice uh, ocean-going adventure novel. Um, there's the inside title page. And the inside color cover art. The art on these is, is really nice. And again, this is for um, Egyptine Straits cigarettes. So these were uh, e Egyptian cigarettes. Uh, a lot of the uh, Cigarettes American Tobacco Company. In those days, they had ads showing uh, Arab or uh, Turkish uh, images, like Camel at the time was, uh, you know, uh, all of them showing exotic, um, exotic images for their advertising. But they're still American cigarettes, and most of them were not made with uh, Turkish or uh, the tobacco, but, the, but with uh, tobacco from Virginia, and North Carolina, because that's where the American Tobacco Company uh, got their. Uh, tobacco. Uh, the next one is an interesting one. It's really cool. The Headless Hottentot by Jerome G. Beattie. That's a cool one. That's the Headless Hottentot. Here's the title page. The uh, inside color. Cool. Cool little story. And again, advertising for uh, American Tobacco Company, cigarettes and cigars. Hot and Tot is uh, um, the African tribe. Uh, the next book is the Yagman, which uh, I believe is, a, is an Australian uh, word, and it's by Arthur B. Reeve. The Yagman, Y E G G. M A N. Don't exactly know what a yegman is. Maybe some kind of criminal or something. Nice, nice illustration. Nice book. And again, uh, advertising for cigarettes. And that's the yegman. We'll put him over here. Uh, Next one is The Ethics of Pig by O. Henry. O. Henry was a popular, famous writer of the era. Uh, that's the cover. Title page. The inside illustration, color. And uh, again, advertising and the back covers is all the same basically so that's the O. Henry um, in another in one with an intriguing title 
The Yellow Peril by W. Key Maxwell. And that's the, that's the cover of, of that, The Yellow Peril. Don't know exactly what it's about. Um, I figured it was something to do with uh, Asian or uh, Chinese, uh, but uh, the il inside illustration shows cowboys, it looks like, so I don't know. Uh, but then there's uh, Asian, Chinese uh, kind of uh, artwork, so maybe it's uh, maybe some kind of combination of uh, Chinese in the West, the American West. and. Uh, Interesting, might be an interesting story. Uh, again, the uh, advertising for the cigarettes, the back cover. And uh, the last one that I have of these is Gentleman Jim by C.S. Thompson. It's the cover. I don't know if it's about Gentleman Jim Corbett, the boxer. You know, it was played by Errol Flynn in the movies in the 40s. But, uh, Probably not, because this is 19, well, 1914, Gentleman Jim was probably, uh, actually, he was probably boxing at that time, or famous at that time. And Piccadilly Little Cigars, and that's the, uh, that's nine of the, uh, maybe 102 of the uh, Best Short Story Series, published by Winthrop Press in 1914. Um and that were given out with uh, American Tobacco Company cigarette and cigar products. Uh, you get you go and buy a pack of cigarettes or a pack of cigars, and you'd get one of these stories, uh, little booklets in the uh, in the package. Uh, it's kind of uh, cool. A lot of times uh, in the old days, there was at this time there was uh, you know cigarette cards uh, of all kinds of uh, you know of every type of subject cigarette cards, especially like sports uh, cigarette cards, which are very uh, you know, popular and collectible. But these are little booklets that they gave out. So it's, uh, it's interesting and they're little paperbacks. The other interesting thing is that, that uh, Winthrop Press, this little box, uh, Santa delivered uh, an, an interesting little box here. And, uh, there you go. Look at the box is falling apart, and it has five of these um, Winter Press books in it. And the um, interesting thing is, when the, before when I mentioned uh, with Doc Cook at the North Pole, let me say we remember this book. So, we'll take a look at this now. We have two editions of this. Now, this was the Doc Cook that we looked at, and it has, of course, in the back, an ad for Piccadilly Little Cigars. And this book is identical to it. It's the same art, same quality paper, and has the same quality paper. The, the, after page 31, the book is uh, story is over, and you turn the page. If I can find it, get it, and there's nothing. And turn it, and there's nothing. There's nothing, no ads. So, what you have is uh, the books that they published for uh, American Tobacco Company with the ads uh, selling their tobacco products, and then you have a separate series. And I did a little research on these, and what it was, what, what they had is uh, they sold these uh, in five, uh, five issues in a uh, little box like this, which this may be the actual box. And they'd sell this, this little box of five uh, Best Short Story booklets from Winthrop Press. Um, in stores. Stores would, uh, would sell them or give them to customers, uh, give them to children as, as giveaways or gifts, and that's what, what you had. And um, the interesting thing is that, so you have in here, 
four more. Well, we have this one we already looked at. So there's four more different books to look at. Um, the Distance Back by John Aeneid. That's the cover. The inside. Inside cover art. I mean, inside art, color art. And again, there's no no advertising. According to His Lights by Susan Glassbell. There's the cover. In better open. condition, too. Yeah, the condition is really nice on these because they were in the box and, uh, you know, they weren't, these weren't really advertising uh, books. You know, these were advertising that people got them in the packages of cigarettes or cigars. They opened them up, they read them. And uh, they got worn, uh, passed around and worn. These, the box here is worn. This might be the original box. The box is worn, but the, uh, but the books inside are, are really nice. Here's the interesting one. A Holiday Task by H.H. H. Monroe, also known as Saki. A very popular and collectible writer. Popular back then and collectible uh, even today. There's an Edgar Allan Poe in this series that I think is uh, quite a uh, might be a quite expensive book, the Golden the Gold Bug. I do not have that one, and who knows what's in the rest of the series. There's supposedly 102 of these, and I have uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two of them, one of them is a dupe. Uh, the, the next book is uh, it's a little hard to read some of these. Biddle's Rally Round the Flag by Frank Finnegan. Biddle's Rally Round the Flag. And this is a, obviously that's a World War I guy, uh, World War I uniform. So this is probably, uh, probably takes place during World War I or after. There's the Inside illustration. A little small, smaller print on this one, and uh, a little, uh, little, little tight margin over there. But uh, and this one does not have, again, any ads. So these were the five books that came in the box that were. Um, not used as ads uh, or, 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 or premiums or giveaways for, for the uh, uh, tobacco companies. They were, um, they were uh, uh, put together in sets of five books. In advertising on the box. In the box. There may have been advertising on the box. Usually it would probably be for a store uh, uh, and they would give these out to kids. Uh, that, uh, Mothers would go to the stores probably and buy uh, with their kids. Maybe, maybe not. We're not we're not exactly sure. We'll see what uh, what what comes out of it. But the, the stores definitely had these, uh, and that they uh, so these these were not advertised for uh, with cigarettes. These these were, uh, and again it was for American cigarettes. Even though the names sound kind of uh, exotic, uh, and. Uh, they're not any brands that we know today, not even Camel or anything like that, American Tobacco Company products. So it's a, it's a cool group of, of books. Uh, Santa brought them to me, and I'm really happy and delighted that Santa allowed me to look at, to have these books and to, to be able to uh, enjoy them. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video, looking at uh, some you know, old 1914 era, uh, pre-vintage uh, little paperback books. Uh, some of them by uh, some uh, quite uh, interesting, good authors, collectible authors. Uh, really nice artwork. I don't know if the artwork on these was from uh, the Frank A. Mul uh, Muncie Pulps. Um, some of the stories are reprinted from 1911 and 1912 Muncie Pulps, and they may have used the artwork uh, on covers from the, those pulps, 
perhaps, but we're not sure. We don't know yet. So uh, it's just a it's just a conjecture on 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 uh, our part. Conjecture being the word of the day, especially when dealing with uh, something as old as as this that uh, we don't really know a lot about. But I don't think that should limit um, limit us from talking about it and showing uh, showing them. And hopefully, uh, you know, that's what some of this. Uh, this channel is about is uh, showing uh, interesting, uh, odd, uh, fascinating, cool items and uh, getting people to see them and le learn about them, know about them. We don't know everything, but uh, uh, maybe we know a little bit and somebody out there knows something more and uh, can give us a heads up on them and uh, that'll be fine. That's always good. Um, the more knowledge we spread around, the better. and. Uh, it's just a cool series of books, and uh, again, if there's 102 of them and I have 12, I'm curious about the other 90. I mean, what's you know? I know there's a Poe in there, and uh, who knows what else. Uh, so it'd be it's a pretty cool series, and uh, the artwork is nice, and uh, I think you uh, I think you'd enjoy them. So I hope you I hope you do, and um, if you did enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up and a like, and subscribe, and uh, thanks again for looking.